So in this question, we have uh, a hazard collision of two balls. We have ball A and then we have ball B. So ball A was initially moving um, towards ball B and ball B was initially at rest. So after the collision, um, so let's just write down it's MA, BA, and MB. BB is zero. After the collision, they are both moving and we know that if this has a new CVA prime and this has a new CVA prime. We know that VB prime is half of VA. It's half of the original speed of the first ball. So um, then we're asked to find what is the mass of the second ball, what is MB. So let's first uh, write down the equation for the relative speed. Uh, so we know for elastic collisions, the relative speed of the two objects before the collision is always equal and opposite to the relative speed after the collision. So that tells us VA minus VB equals negative of VA prime minus VB prime. But VB is zero. So um, this is just VA on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we can substitute that VB prime equals one half of VA. So this becomes negative VA prime minus one half of VA. And we can rearrange this equation so that we finally get VA prime equals um, VA prime equals negative one half of um, VA. Yes, because uh, it's VA prime on the left hand side, and then it's one half VA minus VA on the right hand side. Yeah, so it's VA prime equals negative one half VA. And after this, we already know this is VA prime, and then we already know that VB prime equals one half VA. So that's actually kind of nice. We know that after the collision, they will be moving equal to, into equal and opposite directions. So. But what we need to find, we need to find MB, and we can find that by um, using the conservation of momentum. Because uh, we, in the conservation of momentum, we know VA, we know VB, we know VA prime, VB prime, and then we know MA. So from that equation, we should be able to find MB. Conservation of momentum, we have initial momentum is MAVA. Afterwards, we have um, the final momentum is MAVA prime plus MB, VB prime. But then we can also substitute these two here. So this becomes MA times negative one half VA plus MB over one half VA. Then nice, all the VAs cancel. So this finally uh, leaves us that um, if we rearrange it, we get MA equals negative it equals one half of MB minus MA. So um, we can move this to here. So two MA equals MB minus MA. So MB equals three times MA. So now we can plug in the numbers. Uh, zero point two eight kilogram, and we get zero point eight four. Uh, sorry, it's doing zero. Okay, zero kilogram. So that is the mass of MB. So this ball that that is being collided is three times mass of the initial ball. Okay. So that's part A. For B, it asks us to find what fraction of the original kinetic energy is transferred to the second ball. Uh, so this is really just asking us to find what is what is the change of kinetic energy of original kinetic energy? So kinetic energy transferred is just the kinetic energy of B prime, and the same as original is kinetic energy of A. So this is equal to one half of MB B prime squared over one half of MA V A squared. And everything's ratio. So MB is just equal to three MA. This is over MA, so one half cancels. VA square, VB prime is one half of VA square, so it's one half of VA square. So this is 0 0.75.
So 75% of the kinetic energy will be transferred to the heavier ball. 